Good evening guys, Tony back again, Horror in Todge. Hope everyone's well. It's Wednesday evening here in the UK. And I'm coming back today with another Criterion Collection haul or pickups video. So over the last few weeks I've got a few Criterion movies from the US. Because they're Region A, you know the American ones. And I've got a couple from the UK from eBay. Pretty cheap, so, so I'll show you those. I'm really getting into my criterion. I've got nearly probably about 30 now, so it's not too bad. So I've only been collecting them, you know, a few months really. But they do some fantastic releases, fantastic company, one of the best boutique label companies. So I'll get straight into it, guys, anyway. First one I picked up was off eBay, and it was a steal for £10 uh, delivered. And it's Dennis Hopper's Easy Rider from... I think it's 1969, this film. Yeah, 1969. We'll open them up and I'll show you what you get with Criterion, guys. Really nice. Like I say, I always like the, the way the designs look. Um, so look, the spines are really nice. So this is number 545. So for £10, Blu-ray. There's the back, guys, if you want to read it. And... Uh, Dennis Hopper stars in this one, and it's basically like um, a new wave sort of edgy cinema aspect of uh, a biker going across the US, really, with an awesome soundtrack. I did, I have seen it a long time ago when I was a kid, really. My dad had it on VHS, and I can't remember much about it. So, if I'm going to tell you much more, guys, I'm, and I think um, a young Jack Nicholson's in it, if I'm correct, and this is. Like the booklets come, which is quite cool. There's some more pictures on the back there, Jack Nicholson. And just quite um, a gritty movie. Really good direct. I think it was his de debut as well, Dennis Hopper's directorial debut. So, yeah, quite a lot of special features on there, guys. There's the back. There's the aspect ratio. There's who stars in it. So that for £10. Really pleased with that. And then... I got this one for £10 as well off eBay, another steal, and um, this is Martin Scorsese's Age of Innocence, and I've never seen this, and I'm a, Scorsese is one of my favourite directors, probably my favourite to be fair, I really love, obviously you know, The Goodfellas, I love The Departed, Raging Bull, um, Gangs of New York is one of my favourites, and this is um, a period drama, uh, romantic drama apparently some brilliant actors in this Daniel Day-Lewis, Michelle Pfeiffer and Renona Ryder and it looks like Daniel Day-Lewis is all set to marry Renona Ryder I think and basically Michelle Pfeiffer is Renona Ryder's cousin by the looks of it, I've only seen the trailer and um she comes to stop with him and I think he falls in love with her or something happens anyway. But I'm really looking forward to this one because Scorsese's, you know, character development and attention to detail always fascinates me. So not the biggest of romantic, romantic drama watcher in the world, but definitely one to watch with the missus. And like I say, if it's Scorsese's work, um. You know, I'm all about his directional style and stuff. I really want to get more of his movies. And I want to get uh, Martin Scorsese's shorts on Criterion Collection at some point. So that's another one I'll be picking up soon. Beautiful booklet there. So, yeah. Don't know much about this one. Tell me if you've seen it, guys. If it is quite a good Scorsese film or, you know, what's your thoughts on it. 138 minutes long. There's the back, guys. In New York again, set in New York. Um, but yeah, another spine number 913. A nice Blu-ray, that one. Those two were cheap. Uh, these next three are from Wow HD. So these are American releases. And the first one I'm going to go with, a film by Benjamin Christiansen, and it's called Hexen, from 1922. So I think this is a silent movie, obviously. Um, I think it's Danish, is it? Yeah. And um, Swedish, sorry, not Danish. 
the other film's Danish, I think. Um, this is a Swedish movie. And basically, it's um, a look through the ages of witchcraft in, in you know, silent terms. I hate it when it does this. You know, it pokes out the top, guys. So, let me get that back in. That's it. So, don't know much about this one. I watched the trailer. It looks absolutely fascinating and quite terrifying for 1922. Um, yeah, look, grave robbing, torture, possessed nuns, and a satanic Sabbath, Benjamin Christensen's legendary silent film. So, yeah, 2K restoration, so you're not going to get much more better for a 1922 film. It's 105 minutes long as well, so I really look forward to this. This is like really early horror, and I'm really getting into that. Just the one Blu-ray in these. Really nice artwork though, guys. Look at that inside. Really nice. Look nice in tattoo form, that would. But this is a nice booklet. Like I say, tell me if you've seen this one, guys, what you think of this. I'm really looking forward to studying this. I might do a review on it, to be fair. Um, for silent cinema, like I say, I'm really getting into. Got some Buster Keaton stuff and, you know, some more horrors. But yeah, early stuff, really getting into. So that's Hexen. That was about, well, I got these free for like, I think it was like £63 delivered because Wow HD's free delivery. And that's really cheap um, compared to getting them off Amazon or something. So that's that one. Hexan. Hexan, however you want to say it. Don't know how you say it. And that's Spine Numbered. 134 really cool cover art as well guys the devil there or whatever it is what's that one uh next one looks absolutely brilliant this is probably the one i'm most looking forward to seeing it's filmed from 1985 and it's come and see filmed by um is it lm klemov klimov really um harsh insight to soviet life in world war Two, i think when the um, nazis were attacking and um, some of the soviet states you know was it belarus and stuff i don't know um made some small armies to try and you know combat the nazis but didn't go to plan and there's some really gruesome scenes in this and some really harsh Harsh reality. I've never seen it. I'm just going off what I've read and, you know, rape and, oh, just torture and everything. So, Soviet director, <clears throat> sense, sense shattering plunge. So, yeah, uh, 142 minutes long. So, really long movie. English subtitles. 2K West restoration. Yeah, I'm sure it's, yeah, 1985. So, yeah, really looking forward to this one. Um, like I say, it's meant to be quite a harsh a harsh look at war. So, and one of the best looks at war. So, I've read. Some people say it's the greatest war film of all time. But, um, you know, we'll see if I can stomach it. But, nice little booklet there to go with it. I'll definitely give that a read when I watch it. So, this is probably going to be my first watch. That's Come and See, and that's Spine 1035, and this is American, so US release. And my last one is one of those, like, um, digipack type releases, what they do. And it's a film by Theodore Dreyer, a vampire, from 1932. Looks really atmospheric. Um, so I don't think it's not silent. I think it's got subtitles. I think it's a Danish movie. Yep, da Danish filmmaker. Carl Theodore Dreyer. Um, this is one of them nice releases. Like I say, for this, I got this vampire. Vampire, however you want to say it. Um, I got this. I got Come and See. And I got... Hexan for 60 
63 pounds delivered from the US, so that's really good for Criterion. So this is a nice spine number 437. There we go, guys. Looks quite unsettling and, um, you know, atmospheric. I always think these early ones have got a menacing feel about them without even doing anything. Just with the atmosphere, the setting, and sometimes the mist and stuff. So, yeah, really cool. Really looking forward to this one. Uh, 1932, 73 minutes long in German with English subtitles. So, really like this release, the looks of it. So, you get a nice... Digi pack with the uh, mm, booklet there. Really nice stuff. You get that. You get the Blu ray in there. And you get um, the screenplay. So you get the screenplay here. It's a really thick book. And it's just the whole screenplay. So as film fans can really get stuck into this, I don't know how many pages this is, but. 220 I think but that's the screenplay the whole screenplay so really nice release there of sort of a an early vampire movie from the 30s which is a like I say a really good price for this I think they're about 21 pounds let's say for each and this is a nice nice one so yeah, really cool stuff. Criterion, getting the Criterion um, stuff up, releases, and I'm really looking, you know, looking forward to what they bring out. I'm really looking forward to the Irishman and things, and you know. So there's all my pickups, guys. Tell me if you've seen it. This, this is how they look on your shelf. Really good. So if you want to see a good collection, go and check out Elliot Cohen, um, British guy. Brilliant um, Criterion collection, and he'll know quite a lot, a lot more than what I do. But yeah, really glad with these pickups, five pickups. Tell me if you've seen any of them. Tell me what you think of them, guys. Um, I've been Tony. I'll catch you all later. Thanks for watching.